Gypsy Rose Blanchard has her eyes set on working with Kim Kardashian. Blanchard got candid about serving time for the second-degree murder of her mom, Claudine D.D. Blanchard, revealing she now wants to help those incarcerated alongside the scheme's founder. I think it would be cool because she has a huge platform for prison reform, and I have been in prison, she told Extra Friday. So, I think having those two elements, I think we could probably do some good for the world. While Kardashian has yet to pass the bar exam, she spent the past few years advocating for the rights of those she believes are wrongfully incarcerated. The Kardashian star, 43, visited the White House a handful of times to discuss reforms during the Trump administration. She also lobbied for the pardoning of Alice Marie Johnson, who had been serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole since 1996 for a nonviolent drug offense. On her family's Hulu show, Kardashian has also been candid about her advocacy work and most recently visited a California prison to learn about inmates' conditions inside the facilities. However, Kardashian wasn't immediately available to Page Six for comment on whether she'd work with Kaisby. The ex-con, who served seven years, was released from prison in December after she and her ex-boyfriend Nicholas Godjohn were arrested in 2015 for the murder of her mom at her Springfield, Missouri home. At the time, she was trying to escape D.D., who tricked her and doctors into believing Gypsy had leukemia and suffered from muscular dystrophy, which left her wheelchair-bound and eating from a feeding tube. The 32-year-old and her ex planned the murder, but Godjohn carried out the plan. Originally, Gypsy was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but was granted parole in September 2023. As for Godjohn, he was sentenced to life in prison. Since leaving prison, Gypsy has appeared on several talk shows, admitting she understands her murder scheme wasn't the only way out. If there's someone out there watching right now, please listen to me, heed my words that you are not alone in this situation, she said on The View. There are other ways out. I did it the wrong way. I did. I did something wrong, and I paid my dues for it, she continued.